I did start with the hotel. I just started uh, by telling my friends that I can cook. Cooking is something that you can do anywhere. Uh, you just make sure that you are neat in your things and you do it perfectly. My name is Judith Omondi. I stay in Nairobi. Uh, our home place is in Dewa, Homa Bay County. That is where I'm married. Yeah, so now we stay in Nairobi. So I started cooking back in the year 2015, uh, immediately after college. I went to school and uh, that is what I studied. Yeah, I studied food and beverage and culinary arts. Yeah. Uh, immediately after college, I worked as a, a waitress in a restaurant that was in Kisumu. So after uh, uh, me being in that hotel, I was interested in what I did in school more of what I was doing then. So mostly you would find me in the kitchen learning one, two, three, because in school you will not be told everything. So others I just learned in the restaurant that uh, where I was working. Yeah, so that is that is when I got more interest yeah, in cooking. Yes. So after 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 the, the, the hotel, uh, I left uh, there in 2016. I just worked for one and a half years. So I left in 2016. Then I started my own business in Kisumu. The funds, I didn't have enough funds to start food business. So I started a small business that was selling bags, things like that. But uh, after that, I came into Nairobi, uh, I came to Nairobi in the year 2018. That's why I got more interest because the food commodities were a little bit cheaper in Nairobi compared to Kisumu. So I thought of maybe starting that business. But being that I was new in Nairobi, I couldn't start it immediately. So I took some time. Uh, meanwhile, I was, I was studying the areas where I was, I was uh, especially where I was staying then, uh, so that I could know the market price, whatever, the strategic place where I could start my business. So when it came, 2019, the corona came, so I couldn't start it. So it went, it went 2020, then 2021. That's where I started the, the business. I did start with the hotel. I just started uh, by telling my friends that I can cook. So if they would uh, call me, come and cook, I'll, I'll, I'll go cook maybe mandazis, chapatis. That is how I started it. So I did that for uh, in the year 2021 and uh, part of 2022. So now I thought of maybe opening a small restaurant, something like a cafeteria. So in 2022, that is when I got a place, then I opened it. So this one helped me in advertising more of my business. So that is when uh, this thing started, seriously. the corona period. I, in fact, I learned something that I didn't learn in school. That was uh, pastry, uh, the, the, the baking part of it. So I was in the house, so I was like, if I cannot go outside and cook, or, 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 or maybe in a function, what can I do? Maybe I can learn something, but it is still cooking, baking is still cooking, yeah. So I had a friend that um, uh, she specialized in baking. So I talked to her, so she would come in my house, then we, 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 we bake together and uh, maybe do the, 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 the other things together. Yeah, so I learned uh, uh, more of uh, baking uh, uh, during Corona period, yeah. 
uh, for the first six months, it was a bit challenging because I I, I was still uh, I was still new in the area. Though where I was doing the business, uh, it is it is just a, a place where people do hotel business. Yeah, so me being uh, new there. I was I was like I didn't have enough customers, so you could see customers will will come, then they go to other other places. You are like ah, am I not cooking well, you know? But uh, I didn't lose hope. After I uh, after the six or maybe the seventh month, that is when uh, the flow of customers were were at least uh, more. Yeah, so uh, I was encouraged by that. So I just. I did it, I did it, uh, but uh, after a while, in 2023, in the year, uh, 2023, in the month of uh, December, uh, it, it, it found that I had uh, built my name, like I would get more, more customers. Huh? that would want me to go to their places. Maybe I go for birthday parties, I cook there, a graduation, uh, things like that. So my going out was more of, uh, was more than working in the hotel. Then uh, I had some people that were help, helping me uh, in, in, in my hotel, yeah. So you, you'll find like when I'm out, then I, I come back, you will find like the sales are not so good yeah? the sales are low not that they are they are not selling but you just know people are <laughs> different yeah yeah they just sell but you, they'll, they'll 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 not uh, uh, give you all the things that went uh, when you are not there so i found that a challenging uh, part because i could not trace my records well so this one again i sat down and thought of something else like outside catering as a whole so after this came into my mind i just start uh, buying my things uh, the materials and the equipment that uh, i would use in uh, outside catering so that is when i started buying my things bit by bit until now i own plates uh, uh, the sufurias and maybe some things that I can use in catering. So the hotel is not now working. Onagi Foods, I named it Onagi because of our culture. I'm a Luo. So if you tell any Luo about Onagi, they'll automatically know the name. Yeah, that's how I came up with the name Onagi. So Onagi deal, uh, it, it's, it's something uh, cultural, Luo culture. Mm. So mostly you find someone read the name Onagi and he'll automatically tell you, come and do me omena, mm. come and do me fish. Okay, I thought of it because uh, I just wanted to identify myself with our people. Not that I do, I, I just work for Luo's only, but at least that name would have uh, uh, given me more of uh, uh, customers from our side because I, I do best in those dishes. Yeah, traditional foods. Yeah, Luo traditional foods. Yeah, but other foods too, I cook. Yeah, because someone can, like now, I uh, had someone that uh, wanted uh, a vegetable menu in his wedding. So he told me that I draw a, a, a vegetable menu. But in vegetable menu, you, you'd find that the, 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 luo, <laughs> the luo vegetable, it's, it's more of, uh, okay, these vegetables will be more of luo's, luo, luo, luo menu, like ukipika, there is a way th that Luo, uh, they, they cook they it, yeah, they, cook, they prepare it, yeah, you know. So if you are a Luo and, and I cook for you, Mrenda, you will automatically know that, yeah, it's, it's a Luo thing, yeah, yeah. But now, even, even any other tribe can do the, 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 the dish, 
yeah. For a client to be satisfied, uh, I, I will first ask you uh, about uh, the foods, the specific foods that you want me to cook. Yeah. So after telling me you will want chicken, you will want fish, you will want uh, rice, you will want any other thing, that is where I'll, I'll sit down and I draw the budget and I draw the, that menu. Yeah. Because now, being that I have that fish, I have uh, uh, the, the chicken, I'll, I'll see uh, you will need wet fry fish. You will need dry fried chicken and you will need fried rice. So after you telling me the, the, the kind of foods that you prefer, that is when I'll draw my menu. There was a time I went to work for a friend, she had some guests. So you know, at times when, when, when I'm alone, when I have few guests to, to serve, I always go alone. So that day I was alone actually, because I was serving like only 10 guests. So I was cooking chicken, fish and rice. So I had a, a, a bigger burner, so I, I would uh, put rice there and uh, a fish here uh, plus the chicken. So this day, I forgot to, <laughs> to do the measuring of, of, of the rice. You know, uh, rice, uh, you have to measure, it, it, it should be one ratio, ratio one to two. But this, this time, I don't know what got into my mind. I didn't do the measurement uh, uh, well. So it's like <laughs> the water that I placed was too much, too much, so the rice, the rice iliva sana ikakuwa like ugali. So kenye ilinisaidia, I called the client, then I explained to her. But being she's my friend, she understood. So I just told, told her, we cannot serve this rice this way. We just have to do another rice. Yeah, this time everything was ready. It was only rice that was waiting. So she gave me another rice, then I did the rice. You know, after doing that, after messing your client, you, you just have to, to chip in a little bit so that you cover that place. Because the client was not ready to uh, spend more. Yeah, so she had to work with the budget that I gave her. So she could not spend more. So I had to chip in and pay for, and pay for this, this rice, of which I found uh, just okay with me. I do enjoy uh, cooking chapatis. Yeah, that is what I enjoy most. Yeah, uh, most of the people they fear 
doing chapatis, most of ladies. Yeah, so I got interested in cooking chapatis uh, because anytime I do chapatis, it just turn out perfectly. Okay, you know he's uh, an accountant by profession. So at times I, I would be like, I can't do the calculations well, so I would call him, uh, do me this. We, we, we add them together, he helps me in the accounts area. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, so I appreciate that, yes. At times I might have uh, some work to do or maybe uh, I'm told to travel somewhere for this work. So, I, I, you know, a client ma ma might send uh, half of the money, but now the money, according to what you're planning, it might not be enough. So you tell him like, I need this ma amount, I, I need to go work somewhere and I have to travel uh, maybe the following day. I need some tr transport, uh? and you'll just tell me uh, if it is work, why not? Then you just give me the transport, yeah. advise uh, the youths don't take it as a plan B thing yeah in fact uh, nowadays we don't even need to go to school for, for you to learn many things you know you can just get an idea uh, or what you want to do and maybe have your own certificate but you can still learn cooking at home yeah like you can come to me and tell me Judy I want you to teach me how to cook then you can do it better so don't just sit down and wait for your job to, to or, or maybe lose your job is when you, you, you think of starting this business. Go for it. Nowadays we don't, we don't uh, even if you went to school to learn uh, accounts or finance, at times you find yourself in a different area. So don't just be there because you, you, you went for teaching, so you are waiting for your time to, 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 to be a teacher. No, learn something that if, if, even if teaching is not there, you can still survive. Yes, so that is how I can advise them. They just try something else. Cooking is something that you can do anywhere. Yes, you can do it at home. You can do it even in your friends' houses. You can even be selling, uh, uh, working with food. Then you just sell. Yes, you must not ha own a restaurant for you to sell food. Yes, you just, uh, you just make sure that you are neat in your things and you do it perfectly. People will buy. Okay, I do advertise on uh, WhatsApp. Uh, I do advertise on Facebook, in groups, uh, food groups. There are some food groups in Facebook where I, I always I always advertise. And uh, in Facebook, you find me. Um, my name is Andisa Min Precious in Facebook. Yeah, but the name of the company is Onagi Foods. Yeah, I also have my card here with me. My card. It is written Judith Odoyo, Onagi Foods. Then my number is here, plus uh, my number, it's 0716951268. That's my number. So if you call this number, you'll get me. Yeah, yeah, just like that. The, 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 the services that we are offering, we are doing corporate events, um, weddings, um, house calls, birthdays, baby showers, and many others. 